Yo guys, welcome back to a new video. This is going to be part of a new series called um, Clyde's Cooking Show. This is going to be episode 1. Sorry if my voice sounds messed up because I'm sick. But anyways, this is me making a chicken sandwich. Um, yeah, chicken sandwich. And then, um, yeah, just a chicken sandwich. I don't know why I was pausing right there. Like I had something else. Well, I did, but I just put guac and chips on the plate. But that's it. So right here, I am making the flour. Well, making the well, I'm putting flour and some seasoning, some adobo, which is the best seasoning to put with your chicken sandwich, and some garlic seasoning. So yeah, it's really good. And then I think I already passed it, but I made the homemade. Oh no 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 I did. So look, this is how you um get it to like the chicken to stick to the batter. It's really good. So you have to put one egg in. You can put any milk, but I put soy milk because I hate cow milk. It's kind of disgusting. It grosses me out because it comes from a cow. And then you put some water in it, which that's what I just did right there. And then after you don't put too much water, but after you put in flour, right there, then you just mix it up. All right, start mixing it up, and I'm telling you, I've made chicken, like fried chicken, a hundred, like, not a hundred times, but I've, like, made it so many times that every single time, it just gets better and better. I'm telling you, this time, I made the, um, the chicken sandwich. It tasted so good. It was so crispy. I had uh, my siblings try it. They loved it. They said it was the best one yet. It tasted amazing. So look, I'm mixing it up more. I think, yeah, it tasted so good. It was juicy as well. It was just perfect texture and everything. This series I am really excited for because I love cooking. I think I want to, like, make it to where I cook, like, do, like, a, a, a upload an episode, like, every certain amount of days. Have a schedule because it would be, like, better like that. But, yeah, I think next I'm going to make, like, burgers or, like, trying to make stir fry or something like that. <coughs> um, yeah, I just coughed because I'm sick, like I already said. That's why my voice sounds wrong. But, yeah, anyways, I'm putting the chicken in the, um, in that battery stuff. What do you, what am I supposed to call it, batter? The stuff that's, oh, no, I put it in the flour. And, the, and then, look, so here's what I do. I put it in that battery stuff. Put it back in the flour, put it back into like the ba battery stuff, and then um I put it on the put it on the flour, flip it over one time, pour bre breadcrumbs on it, which that's what I'm doing right now. Oh wait, okay, look, I got the breadcrumbs ready. I'm about to put the breadcrumbs on it, and then after I put the breadcrumbs on it, I put it in the fryer, which you can see it in the back, like you can see it in the background. But yeah, I have a miniature deep fryer, which that's what I use to fry my stuff. Um, I think whenever I make the burgers, I think I'm going to make french fries as well with it, because my fries taste so good. <laughs> Sorry if you did not like that music, but I'm going to just add random songs in the middle of it whenever there's, like, nothing to say. But anyways, as you can see, I'm putting some more seasoning on it to get that extra seasoning flavor. Because you, there's no such thing as too much seasoning. Well, I mean, there is, but I always add quite a bit of seasoning, which that just gives it a lot of flavor. Whenever I first started making chicken, I feel like the chicken didn't have much flavor, but now the flavor is amazing on it. Yeah, and don't mind my outfit, because I just threw something on because I was in my pajamas. Because it's summer, and I stay in my pajamas, like, all day, usually. But yeah, here I am making the buns. So I put the buns on a, a baking thingy. Okay, I had to pause the video because I just started coughing. But yeah, anyways, I put the buns on the baking thing. I don't know what it's called, because I'm dumb. Uh, but I put it on there, and then I spread some butter on it, and then I put some garlic on it, and then it tastes good. So, look, you can see, I grabbed that butter, 
grab that butter knife, spread it on that bun. Tastes so good. Mm. Bro, it tasted amazing. Oh, is there a bump in my arm? Hold up. Okay. Looks like there is. Sorry, my brother came in. I don't want him interrupting the audio. So anyways, like I was saying, look, I'm putting the garlic on it. Oh my gosh, I think it was the garlic because I wanted to try something new. I was like, what if I put garlic and butter on one of the buns? Well, usually I put butter in it and then bake it. But this time I decided to add garlic on it. So there we go. So, yeah, we're about to change camera angles. I'm going to start changing up the camera angles. Well, not really. But I'm just going to start moving the camera around, actually. Instead of just, you know, just boring one angle. So, yeah, I'm trying to close the butter. I accidentally, like, put a hole in the butter. And I tried to take it off. So, yeah, see? I'm putting the um, buns in the oven. And it tastes good. And then, yeah, season. Um, that was the chicken. That's what it looked like. What well, would y'all rather have, ketchup or buffalo sauce? Because I'd rather have buffalo sauce, and then y'all can't get mad at me, but mayonnaise on a chicken sandwich tastes so good. And then here's more of the ch <coughs> oh, the chicken. Um, yeah, it's in the fryer. I was using a spoon to, like, flip it over. I had to put set the camera on well, my tablet down because I was using my tablet. That's why the um, video quality is kind of trash. But, yeah. Anyways, I'll, I flipped it over off camera, so look at that. The buns are so toasty. They were good. So there we go. I'm about to put the bun on the... T I'm about to put the chicken on the bun. There we go. See, I, I, um, I used to have those um, grabby thingies. But um, they kind of broke. So yeah, I put the buffalo sauce on that. There we go. Flip that over. And it looks so good. I should have showed um, my siblings try it on camera. Because I didn't. But here, I grabbed some guac and I put it on my plate. And then there we go. I found some barbecue sauce as well. See right there. And there we go. First, here's a monster bite right there. I was like, mm, that's so good, bro. But the thing is, I started coughing in the middle of eating it. Like, as soon as I shut off the thing, I started coughing and I lost some of it, which is kind of sad. But it tasted amazing. And then I dip it in the barbecue sauce, which I think it tasted better with the barbecue sauce. It tasted really good. Best chicken sandwich ever. Better than, um, actually, no, I'm sick, so I tasted, like, 75% of it, but it still tasted better than, like, other places, so, yeah. And then, yeah, there's the guac and the chips, and that's a thumbs up.